right, so hey, this will be my first real video aside from the introduction video. And I was thinking, well, where to start? What's a good thing to start with? Everybody does all kinds of things like certain bands and things like that along in that line. I decided, well, <clears throat> I would go ahead and just do a uh, most recent buys or, or acquires, my recent acquisitions of vinyl. Just some of the newer stuff that I've got recently. Um, probably over about the past couple weeks. Now this, I've limited to just new vinyl. Um, as in new modern purchases, not things I've acquired new to me. So um, there have been some used vinyls and things along that line that I bought that I'll feature later. This is just all new, newer releases. Um, all right, first up is a uh, one by Wasp. I got this the other day, re-idolized. Now, uh, this people are finding out, you know, the Crimson Idol is probably in most people's minds one of Wasp's high watermarks. Um, and I've been, you know, and initially I thought this was just a uh, modernized reissue, but shortly found out that this is actually what's called re idolized. That they've actually re recorded this. Some of the lyrics have changed, uh, as most of you may or may not know. I don't know. Um, Blackie Lawless has uh, been professing uh, the Christian faith for the past decade or so, and uh, his lyrics have converted to some of that. This album has been cleaned up. His lyrics and the cursing that have been there before, you know, a lot of people don't like that because they think it's a masterpiece and shouldn't be touched. I don't mind it. It was a good album. Um, it's still a good album. It's got modern production. Uh, very nice. It came with the DVD which this was originally supposed to have a movie with it or a long video uh, concept video of the album telling a story they finally finished the story and they released it um, I haven't watched it in its entirety but I've seen pieces of it um, and basically it's just a song back to back but then there's characters and acting and stuff like that so um, that came with it I unfortunately crosswise grabbed the regular black vinyl it also came in red i've seen it it was beautiful but uh cost prohibited this was um i actually didn't i had this on my wish list for a while but the reason i purchased this because i had some extra money on a amazon gift card and so i ended up making this about half price not that well i'll get myself a little gift so that's what we went with that this is a uh michael shanker's michael shanker fest resurrection um, I've been listening to this on Spotify for a while. I'm a big Michael Shanker fan. I own pretty much everything I can get my hands on. Um, not a lot of vinyl by him. Actually, this is the, only the second one that I've got by him. I'd like to acquire uh, a lot more of this. Michael Shanker is one of those ones that I didn't discover till the 80s. I was not a UFO fan back in the day. Um, a friend of mine had his the Michael Shanker One Night at Budokan live album. And, and not only was I impressed with the music, but it was kind of cool. It had, uh, I don't know, it was just, overall, it was just a great album. And then this started discovering uh, the first couple Michael Shanker solo albums and fell in love with them. So I've been following him for years and buying his stuff up. Um, this is cool because if anybody who's a Michael Shanker fan knows that almost every album he's got a different band, um, different singers. Gary Barden was a longtime singer for the longest time. I still consider him the Michael Schenker singer. Um, and he did come back a uh, handful of years ago and did a couple albums and then disappeared again. He's had various singers um, on and off for the albums. Well, this album is a bringing back of like all of the major singers from the past. And so they interchange out in a different song. So you got Robin McCauley from the McCauley Shanker days. Graham Bonnet, who sang on one of his albums back in the day, Assault Attack, always in my mind one of my least favorite albums. I was just never a big Graham Bonnet fan. Uh, it took a long time before I really enjoyed him even more. Same thing with his appearance on the Impelitary band. It's like just not, it's just not my style. His solo albums recently, I've been, I've listened to it and I have pretty much enjoyed. It. Anyway, on here, he's great. Anyway, and it's also got Gary Barton back. That's great. He's really good. And then uh, uh, Doogie White has been doing vocals with him on recent albums, so he's on here also. And uh, anyway, so it's kind of like a best of. Uh, that's why they call it Michael Shanker Fest. And um, 
lyrically the albums are cool they got the hooks everything that you would expect Shanker. I don't know for some reason this album has gotten more play from me than some of the more recent albums um, though the last couple albums have been played a lot but this one really resonated with me it just it was really good so here's what happened with this one we needed something from Amazon the other day and Amazon has this new thing now where you can get things literally overnight for Prime for free. I don't pay overnight shipping. Now I have the Prime, which is two-day shipping. Well, some things, we needed some vitamins or something, and we needed them, like, now. And But in order to get the overnight Prime, you have to spend $35. Well, the things that we had were, like, $10. And I'm like, well, what can I buy for under $25? Wife is like, go for it. So... I was bought myself an album um, and got it the next day, which was odd because in order to get it the next day, I'm pretty sure these are at local, at the local, we have a local Amazon store uh, the next town over, so I'm assuming this was sitting there because they bring it to you the next day. Anyway, love this album, love this album. Next up is one, and I couldn't believe this, this is one I've had on my wish list for a while. It's a three vinyl, so it's fair, it was always fairly costly. They have it at a local store. They wanted like 40 some odd dollars for it. Um, it's, so I've been holding off on it. Then the actual record company, the distributor, um, recently had a sale and they sold this three vinyl release for like $15. I had to buy it. I'm talking about Spock's Beard, Snow Live. This was the entire Snow album which was recorded at Morse Fest, uh, was it two years ago? Anyway, for anybody that has no knowledge maybe of what this is, okay, Neil Morse was with Spock's Beard. The last time he recorded with Spock's Beard was Snow. Right after the album was recorded, Neil stepped out of Spock's Beard and went solo and started doing Christian music. I'm a huge Neil Morse fan. Still a, a huge Spock's Beard fan. So this was a time where he got back together with the band and they did this album in its entirety because it had never been played live in the past because he had quit right you know, after the band. Um, so it has him on vocals. It's got their current vocalist. It's got, uh, it's just, it's, it's got a bunch of the guys from the band over the years. And of course his brother plays in this band. So um, it's beautiful, it's three vinyls, it's white vinyl, it's really nice, giant gatefold. I could not put this in any kind of plastic bag because I have yet to buy a plastic bag big enough for a, a triple vinyl, so it sadly is unprotected and laying out. But anyway, Spock's Beard, good stuff, white vinyl, I love it. Um, this one I bought, I pre-ordered, big fan, like I said in my previous intro video, I'm a big 80s head, metal head. And uh, so Dee Snyder, Twisted Sister, big fan. Um, when he announced that he was doing this metal album, I pre-ordered it months ago. This actually was released on my birthday a month ago, and so I received it and love it. Um, I think I got the regular black. Yeah, I didn't spend any extra money. I believe there was a different color one there. Um, it's really nice, and uh, it's a return to his metal roots, whereas this last album was a little less metallic, still very good. But his last solo album uh, was a little lighter. This one was a lot heavier. Um, anyway, so this was great. This was kind of like a birthday present to myself. And then speaking of birthdays, so my oldest, uh, one of my older kids, um, my kids are getting old, some of them are getting old enough to actually have money and buy things. And so they're like, what do you want for your birthday? I'm like, I have an Amazon list. Just go check it out. So I didn't know what they were going to buy. But lo and behold, what comes in the mail is I got two vinyls for my son. I said, you didn't have to spend that much money. Why'd you do that? Well, I never bought you anything in the past for all those birthdays, so I just bought you two. He got me Saxon, so before, Saxon Thunderbolt. Here's the thing, I had just a bunch of stuff scattered on there for my own look. Um, when he said he was interested, I went back in and cleaned it up and rearranged things in the order of how I would like to receive them. I told him, hey, I've rearranged the list in the order, so if you want to look at which one, you know, cost-wise you want to get. It turns out he said, well, I already bought some. Turns out he got the t two that were nearest to the top. Um, there was only one thing above it, and it was an expensive list. Um, so anyway, got Saxon Thunderbolt. Of course, this is on beautiful red vinyl. Love Saxon, big Saxon fan. 
Another band that I discovered in the 80s, the Denim and Leather was the first album I had by them um, shortly after it came out and have been a huge fan ever since. So pretty much anything they've done, I have purchased. Um, so that's a great album. That's their newest that just came out. And the other album he got me was Sweet and Lynch. Michael Sweet, George Lynch. <clears throat> Michael Sweet of Striper, George Lynch of Dokken, Lynch Mob, things like that. Um, I have been listening to this for quite a while, but was waiting to buy it on vinyl. It was always a little more costly than I had, was willing to shell out. Um, so it's always great to get it as a gift. Um, it is a gay fold and it is double vinyl. So I always enjoyed that. Um, so yeah, this was a really cool, uh, cool gift. So that's basically it. That's the most recent latest that I have acquired. And like I said, these are of the new vinyl releases, not uh, used. I'll cover that at a later time. Anyway, cool stuff. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Give me a like, give me a comment. Tell your friends, I'm new. It's only my first video. Something you want to see me improve on, let me know. Thanks a lot. Rock on.